search for browser in Google Play and you'll be presented with a multitude of options. Now in this video I'll be giving my opinion on four of them uh, and I'll be judging them based on aesthetics, performance and functionality. Chrome, Opera Mini, Firefox and Dolphin Browser HD. How do they stack up? Now I'm generally not going to go into detailed benchmarks because I'd prefer to judge them based on their real-world performance. So if you're ready, let's get geeky. Okay, so let's start with Aesthetics and Google Chrome first. Now aesthetically, it's a very minimal light theme, very similar to the desktop version. The only thing you've got on the screen is the address bar, which stays no matter where you scroll. Now compare this to Dolphin Browser, which looks the busiest out of all of the four, with its large tab top and its gesture button on the bottom left. Funnily enough, I actually think it looks more similar to the Chrome desktop browser than the Chrome mobile browser. It's very smart looking. Now out of the four browsers, this has got probably the least screen real estate with the large tab top taking quite a lot of space, but you can switch it to full screen mode. And there you'll see that you can browse with a full screen with no clutter whatsoever. Henry Dolphin is a very sharp looking, aesthetically pleasing browser. Now onto Opera Mini, which is uh, very similar to Chrome in that it a, has a very minimalist theme. It's also got some very nice animations and flourishes. I actually like the fact that it's got a dark theme, uh, which differentiates it from the other three browsers. Now we'll see the address bar is split into two, uh, so you've got your address bar and the Google bar. And switching between the two, you know, you've got some very nice and smooth transition effects. And you'll see that when a new page loads up, it'll sort of fade in like that, which looks lovely actually. And you'll notice that when you scroll down, the address bar disappears off the top of the screen. Uh, but if you press the menu button, it'll pop back up. And some of the back and forward commands uh, yield some, you know, nice slidey transition effects as well between pages, which is nice. We have Firefox for Android. Now this is very cool looking. It has a very stylized address bar and it's got some good use of bold colors um, with some minimal animations. And the address bar isn't too intrusive, so you've got plenty of real estate for browsing. So let's talk about performance and in particular scrolling. And uh, so here first up is Chrome. Now Chrome generally is very smooth when it comes to scrolling. Now I've noticed on occasion it can be quite slow to react to swipes on occasion and there are some times where it's a bit choppy and there are drop frames in terms of scrolling but generally very good and very smooth. Now onto Dolphin Browser HD and for me this is the most responsive and the snappiest of the four browsers on test. You know, it's so snappy, it's so quick to react to finger swipes. And I've never noticed any sluggishness whatsoever. It's always consistently as smooth as butter. You can see pinch to zoom is just as snappy and just as smooth. And it's got out of all four, the fastest scroll speed of all of them. Now Opera Mini is a quite a peculiar one because it's not as snappy as Dolphin, but it's still extremely smooth when scrolling or zooming. And it uses a very good looking effect to show sort of unloaded content when you're quickly scrolling or zooming for that matter. So as you can see, rather than sort of checkerboarding unloaded content, it has these blocks of colors which fade into content, which looks really nice. Now scrolling isn't as quick or snappy as Chrome or Dolphin, although it is extremely smooth. And what's helpful is that when you scroll up or down very quickly, you'll get uh, brief temporary navigation buttons which pop up onto the screen which take you to either the top or the bottom of a web page. Controlled and smooth is probably the best description. Now on to Firefox on which scrolling and zooming is also very smooth. You know, checkerboarding is something that you'll not have with this browser. However, I've got to say that it's not all that snappy in terms of responsiveness. And although this scrolling is very smooth, it's not that fast. And there's some sort of nice bouncy physics effects when you hit the top or the bottom of a web page. So I would say that it's probably just as smooth as Dolphin, but not as snappy. And it feels altogether just a little bit looser in terms of touch control. 
So in terms of smoothness of scrolling and snappiness, I think Dolphin takes this one. Here's a clip of Chrome, incidentally, um, completely freezing on me while I was doing the test, which is something that happens not very frequently, but does still happen on Chrome. In terms of text wrapping, uh, firstly on Chrome, uh, there isn't any, so text will not reflow to fill a screen. And here you can see an example of Chrome being a bit inconsistent when it comes to rendering a screen. So it's sort of half loaded the screen there. Dolphin browser, yes, you do have text wrapping. And I really like the way it's implemented because you have to double tap onto a, a zoomed in screen before the text reflows. It's a nice touch because you don't always want your text to reflow, but it's nice to have the option when you need it. Now thirdly, onto Opera Mini, and supposedly it has text reflow or text wrapping, um, but in this test I definitely couldn't get it to work. On the settings screen it was definitely showing as enabled, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. And finally on Firefox, which doesn't support text wrapping. Okay, so lastly on performance, I just wanted to look into HTML5 compatibility. And on html5test.com, Chrome scored in the high 300s, which generally means that it works very well with most aspects of HTML5. Now, Opera Mini scored a disappointing 62, indicating a low degree of compatibility with HTML5 elements. And this is something that I'll touch upon again soon with a HTML5 video test, which the Opera Mini resoundly flunked. Finally, Firefox scores generally in the high 300s on HTML5test.com, which, like Chrome, indicates a high degree of compatibility with HTML5 elements. So what do these scores mean in real life? So firstly on Chrome, I went on to the Apple website to test a HTML5 encoded video and as you can see, it doesn't play. The only mobile browser in which it did play was Dolphin. And very impressive it was as well. And this was a high resolution video using HTML5. And as you can see, it plays extremely smoothly. And there were some other elements as well alongside the video, so you could scale it all using HTML5, which, as you can see, worked a treat. As well as some other toggles to manipulate the perspective, which you can see here working. Very impressive for a mobile browser. It's another area where Dolphin Browser really trounces the competition. Opera Mini, as you'd expect with its low sort of benchmark score for HTML5, didn't even try to load up the video. Couldn't even get it onto the web page where the video was encoded. As you can see, it just absolutely refuses to do it and doesn't even try. And on this particularly tough test, Firefox browser also failed. But unlike Opera Mini, at least it gave it a try. Next is address bar searching, and as you would expect, Chrome supports this with dynamic live results as you type. Similar case for Dolphin Browser. Now with Opera Mini, you've got the dedicated Google search bar on the address bar, and it works fine, giving you updated results as you type. But the weakest one in this regard is Firefox, which although supports address bar searching, there isn't dynamic results. Uh, but on the flip side, it does give you the option of searching sort of four main websites for your results. So next up, I want to look at tabbed browsing. So first up is Chrome, and it's very easy to do tab browsing on this. Um, there's a nice card stack interface uh, with some nice smooth animations, which looks lovely. It's easy to swipe away tabs by swiping left or right. Now, Dolphin's uh, tabbed interface isn't as fancy as Chrome's, but it actually looks quite similar to the Chrome desktop version. 
the tabs at the top of the browser. Now, Opera Mini offers a sort of mini card stack. Decent animations when browsing open tabs, but it feels a bit sluggish and is not as snappy as Chrome in this regard. Again, this is very easy on Firefox and it's similar to Chrome in terms of one screen press. We'll take you to the open tabs and it gives you a very functional but still pleasant looking list with previews that you can swipe away. So let's talk about some of the other functionality, if any, that the other browsers have. Now Chrome is a very basic browser and it has none of these sort of the Chrome extensions that you can get on the desktop version. And this is a, a bit of a shame because as you'll see, some of the other mobile browsers do actually support this sort of functionality. Well, Chrome basically is what you see is what you get. There's no option, say, to save pages for offline reading or anything of that sort. But one nice function it does have is to allow you to display the tabs open on your desktop version of Chrome on your mobile. Now, functionality is something that the Dolphin browser excels in. Um, firstly, it's got gestures. You can draw symbols on the screens for certain functions, as well as having voice commands built in. But one of the best things about Dolphin browser is its ability to install add-ons to give the browser additional functionality. So if you scroll right when browsing, you'll see your currently installed add-ons. And they seriously extend the functionality of the basic browser. And I've got things like Text Sizer, Speed Test, Web to PDF, Full Screen, Night Mode all installed, which are all extremely useful. The browser makes extremely good use of left and right swiping. So I'll swipe left for your bookmarks and swipe right, as you saw earlier, for your installed add ons. Functionality wise, Dolphin Browser is top notch. Now, Opera Mini, functionality-wise, is similar to Chrome in that it's a very basic what-you-see-is-what-you-get kind of browser. But one area where it has an advantage over Chrome is that it supports uh, save for offline reading, so baked in. But functionality-wise, it's a fairly basic browser. Now, Firefox, out of the box, gives you a save to PDF option as you'll remember was an add-on for Dolphin but it's baked in to Firefox and also useful is the reader option so once your web page has fully loaded you'll see an icon pop up in the address bar which looks like an open book there it is so you tap on that and it basically reformats the page, stripping out a lot of the unnecessary graphical elements to make it easier for reading. Very useful. Now, like Dolphin, it has add-ons to extend the functionality of the browser. And in all actuality, there are probably a wider range of these than those you'd find on Dolphin. And you really can get a, a huge range of add-ons with all manner of functionality enablers. So for example, you can download an add-on, uh, which is an ad blocker, or you can get a YouTube video downloader, which is extremely useful, or a password manager, or an add-on to save your website as a text file. So in terms of functionality, I think Dolphin and Firefox wins this round, uh, probably more so Firefox, given the wide range of its add-ons. Now, all four browsers that I've tested are excellent, and I think you'll have a good experience on any of them. But for me, one browser stands out as the clear winner for me, and that was Dolphin Browser. For me, it was the best in performance. It was the snappiest, the smoothest, and has the extra functionality available via its add-ons. HTML5 video was impressive, beating all the other three. But that's just my opinion. And I think people tend to get quite defensive with their choice of browsers, just like with their choice of mobile operating system. And different browsers are differently suited to different users. Let me know what your favourite is in the comment section below.